Let's cover a very personal subject that needs to be addressed. Staph infections and MRSA. Due to staph being highly contagious, it has the ability to spread to a whole team. Any wound should be checked daily for signs of infection, which include tender to the touch, swelling, redness, heat, oozing of bloody fluid that may contain a whitish or yellowish color. A physician should immediately examine a wound if it displays any of these signs. Bacteria can be found on the skin or in the nose. People who have staph but are not sick are colonized. Colonized people may not become ill but can still pass it to others. It's important to know what to look for. Here are a few signs. Small red bumps that resemble pimples, boils, or insect or spider bites. These can be red, swollen, painful, or have pus and or other drainage. And finally, what are the risks? Person-to-person -person contact, such as in contact sports. Bacteria often enters the body and can be spread through a cut or scrape. Remember, if not handled properly, a staph infection can spread rapidly through a whole team. The optimal situation is to have a certified athletic trainer, ATC, at your school or facility. But when one is not available, the NCSS recommends to have all coaches educated in the basics of sports safety. A certified athletic trainer is a healthcare professional certified by the Board of Certification for Athletic Trainers who specializes in preventing, recognizing, managing, and rehabilitating injuries and athletic-related illnesses that result from physical activity.